Hi guys, Melissa here with TCG Crafts and for today's Tuesday's tip, I'm going to show you how to put together a mini rag bow. So I have um, one, two, three, four, six different strips of fabric here. I've already cut them, or not cut them, but um, pulled them and starched them and they're ready to go. So I'm just going to show you today how you can take uh, these and assemble and make a mini rag bow. Um, so if you've got scraps of fabric, save them. You just tear them into whatever size, usually between an inch, inch and a half, and then starch them, let them sit overnight, and then they're good to go. So I'm going to show you how we're going to put these together and make a mini rag bow. So I'm just going to take the strip, find the center, and I'm going to use my Easy Bow Maker to hold it. If you don't have an easy bow maker, um, find something that can help hold your fabric in place for you because it's going to be very difficult to use your hand and put all these together. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to put, um, we're going to do this and make um, three layers of all of our ribbons. So I'm just going to again find the middle And just place it in here get my next color now this is the easy part um, the more time-consuming part is cutting the fabric apart or tearing it whichever you decide to do and then starching it I use stay flow starch I use one whole bottle of Stay Flow starch for all of this fabric. Um, and I've already made, let's see, about five or six mini rag bows already. Um, and so this is some of the fabric that's left. So you get you get to do quite a bit with one whole thing of the Stay Flow starch. Um, but that's what I use. It makes the fabric um, nice and crispy for your rag bow. So again, I'm just finding the center. And then sticking it down in here. So we've done, we've gone through every layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this two more times so that we're gonna have three of each color hanging down as tails. So I use the uh, Stay Flow starch, and I just found me a uh, plastic tote. Poured the whole bottle. Of starch in the tote um, and then I had my son he helped me um, just put the fabric I start with the lightest color and then go to the darkest color just because this fabric you know it can bleed a little bit so we started with the lightest color dip it in the starch squish it all make sure it's nice and soaked and then you just wring them out and hang them up to dry and then the next day we came in and they were ready to go. So that's the that's the the longest part is getting all that prep work done so that you can assemble the bows. But these are really popular right now in wreaths. Um, they turn out really cute. So we're gonna do patriotic one today. So now I'm starting my third and last layer of the tails. We're just doing the same pattern, finding my center, and just laying them down. These are actually pretty easy to assemble. Like I said, the hardest part is, and it's not even hard, it's just time consuming, is uh, doing the starching. But the assembly part is really pretty easy. We are almost done with the tails. Okay, the last one of the tails. Now what we're gonna do is for every color that we have a tail, we're gonna make a small mini bow that's just gonna sit on the top. So I'm gonna take my piece, find my center, just going to pinch it together, I'm going to make a little loop, 
twist it so that my tail is sticking out. Make another loop. Twist. So you got like a little mini bow. And then I'm just going to sit this down on top. Just like that. Now these are the minis. Um, if you're going to do the bigger ones, you'll have to have longer strips of fabric. But I just bought the little fat quarters. So this size is just using the little fat quarters that you can get at, um, I got mine at Walmart. Um, if you're going to want longer strips, you're going to need to get like a yard of fabric and cut it. But these are just the little fat quarters, so it makes the little minis. So we've got our first little bow in there. We're just going to go to the next color. Do the same thing. I'm going to find the center. Just going to pinch it. Make me a little loop. And you're just kind of guessing on the, on the size. It doesn't have to be perfect but try to make them same size. So we have another little bow. Just gonna set it right down on the top of my bow maker. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's scoot this over there. There we go. Okay, so we've done two. Let's go to our next one. Find the center, pinch it, make a loop, pinch, now this one is the same color on either side, so you don't have to twist it, but I just get in the habit of twisting. So we've got our little bow. And as I lay these in there, I just kind of shape the loops how I want them in our bow. So we don't want them all stacked on top of each other. We want them kind of layered. So I just move my loops around just a little bit, kind of get a little bit of a layered effect. Okay, let's go to our next one. Pinch it. Make a loop. Twist. I have to twist because the back side is, it's not the same as the front side. We want the pretty side on, on the front. So that's why we twist, so that we can turn our tails the way we want them to go. So I'm just gonna set that in there. Oops, and we had a we had some a mishap here, so let's do this again. I didn't gather it all together, I guess, and it fell apart on me. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, got two more. A loop, twist, loop, twist, and just place it in there. And again, I'm just kind of staggering the, the loops so that they're not stacked right on top of each other. We've got a little bit of a layering effect. I'm going to do our last one. Loop, another loop. And twist. So we've got all of our little loops in here that made our little top bow. Now this part can be a little tricky, but now we're going to need to, let me move all of these out of the way. So now I'm going to take a just a zip tie or a cable tie and I'm going to slightly lift it up with my finger and slide this zip tie underneath and I'm going to come up through the center and we're going to tie this fairly tight but not all the way because we need to, when we lift this up, we want to make sure this gets around in the center and I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to run along the back under the zip tie so that I have something to attach this to my wreath. So again, I pulled the zip tie tight, but not 
all the way because I want to move these I want to move these tails around so that they're laying in the front of our bow. Hopefully you guys can see that. Once you kind of get it where you want it, then you can give it a good snug pull. I'm going to clip the back of that zip tie off. And then here in the center, you can add whatever you want. So you can add... Um, let me show you what I did on, so on these, I added a little fancy button in the center. You can do that. Um, for this one, I'm just going to add a little glitter ball. Since it is patriotic, I'm just going to add a little glitter ball right here in the center. So now we have a super cute little mini rag bow that you can hang um, you could hang it on a lantern you could put it in your wreaths just pretty much anywhere you want to use it to decorate so that's how you put a little mini rag bow together hope you guys enjoyed it talk to you soon bye y'all